Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Dave Glazer at Fit Life Champions, actually at Fit Life Champions this time, uh, in the office here at the studio. And it's true, both of those things are absolutely true. It is cold outside, and the traffic is bad today. I mean, trust me, I've been out running around all morning, um, a coffee meeting with a BNI contact, or a lunch meeting with another contact from that group where uh, we network and we collaborate as business owners and we try to push each other forward. So still getting work done, still trying to reach my goals every single day, whether it's a rest day or whether it's a chilly cold snow day and I may not be able to make it to the gym in a timely manner like today. So today's Facebook Live is what do I do in the event of? Well, we have to have a contingency plan when maybe um, we're training for a triathlon and it's cloudy and it's raining and we can't swim in a lake, you know, um, or you have a, an, an apartment pool that you do your laps in, you know, whatever. So it's all season, all the time contingency plan here in Colorado, because if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes, it's going to change here in Colorado. So what we found at FitLife is that, um, thanks again for tuning in, Karen, and all of your support across the board over the last couple of days. I really appreciate you uh, becoming a part of this community. That's what we're trying to build and I, and I couldn't be more grateful for um, what you're doing with us this week. So thanks for the great questions the other day, guys, on that post about intermittent fasting, the keto diet, and then how to do uh, body splits. If you're tired of working out full body, uh, scroll back down through the group and check out the comments on one of the last videos. It was awesome to see the interaction. Really appreciate you guys doing that. And then, by the way, if you guys know anybody who's like the perfect fit, scroll all the way to the top, click the add button of the Facebook group, and we will get them approved like ASAP, because that's what we're trying to do here is build a community of people who want to support each other, hold each other accountable, to stay consistent and reach your goals quickly and safely. That's our number one goal with this group. So back to the contingency plan. What we found is that um, simply uh, simply adding in body weight exercises when you're stuck at home on a snow day can be sufficient enough. Um, all of our all of our certifying bodies say that. Hey, Katrina, thanks for tuning in. Um, all of our certifying bodies say that minimum of 30 minutes of exercise, three days a week, five days a week, is going to be sufficient to get you to your goals quickly and safely. And then we take it from there. That's really building the foundation of what your uh, core strength endurance needs to be. Um, in order to live your daily life the best that you possibly can. So what I'm going to do for you guys today, since it's a snow day here in Denver, I'm going to post our body weight workout program below. It's going to be the first or third, third comment or whatever now that we've gotten some interaction on the video. It's going to be one of the first few comments below. I want you guys to click it. It's got seven days worth of body weight workouts plus all of these healthy habits that we talked about over the course of the seven uh, this month so far. So those seven healthy habits plus seven days worth of body weight exercises that you guys can do anywhere. If you're traveling for work, traveling to see family across the country, um, or simply just stuck at home on a snow day like today, we want to encourage you guys to still get your physical activity in um, without having to drive in traffic and without having to go out in the cold because we live in Colorado because it's beautiful most of the time. Occasionally we get a day like today. So again, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all of your support and interaction this week in the Facebook group. Um, Melva actually posted that really funny picture of the T-Rex arms because we were talking about how sore her arms were going to be, and I just had to laugh yesterday. Um, Stephanie's been a longtime client, so if you look at that comment where she's like, hey, Dave, how do I uh, stay active every day but don't overtrain? That's something that we as coaches also need to hold you guys accountable on. And I may have said, first of all, having a dog who doesn't like to trail run is a good thing. Chloe would never run a trail with me, so therefore, I don't run trails. And that's one step in the right direction for another member to kind of check out how much rest we're getting in each and every day, because it's just as important as the work. All right, guys, I digress. Thank you so very much for your participation this week. Um, it is Friday. Let's have a wonderful weekend. Don't derail from your goals just because the weekend is coming up. 
But please, ask your questions below. I'm happy to answer them. Um, more things like intermittent fasting and keto goes a long way to help support each other, getting the information to you guys here in the group. So again, thanks for tuning in. Dave Glazer at Fit Life Champions here in Denver.